I know a lot of people probably already saw the clip that I'm about to play for you, but I really want to talk about this because it just shows how awful of a candidate Joe Biden really is. And this isn't a surprise to anyone who's watching this show because we've covered his campaign throughout the course of the primary and he's bad. But I mean, I didn't know that he was this bad. I didn't know that he was willing to stoop to this low of a level. So to give you some background, he was confronted at a recent rally by an immigration activist who wanted him to commit to zero deportations and all deportations on day one using executive action. Joe Biden gets frustrated throughout the course of this confrontation and ends up telling him to vote for Donald Trump. Literally. Take a look. That over those eight years, there were three million people that were deported and separated from their families. Yeah. We had this classification of families. Well, you should vote for Trump. Families you should vote for Trump. And be, no, 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 I'm, no, I'm not gonna do that. But I wanna make sure that immigrant families and people like Sylvia are not afraid. And you have the power as a candidate to actually commit to stop all deportations from day one for executive action, and we want to hear you say that. I will not stop all deportations if you have a, if you commit a crime that's a felony. Not one more deportation! Not one more deportations! Not one more deportations! Not one more deportations! Not one more deportations! No matter what happens, somebody commits murder, they shouldn't be deported. I'm asking you a question. Someone commits murder. Look, you saw what happened. I know, but. I Okay. Look. There will be no family separations under my, under my, as, a, as a President of the United States. That's a, a lie. Let, let him go. Let him. That's a lie. That's a That was embarrassing. That was downright embarrassing. And if he had any shame left, he would drop out after that. You just told someone to vote for Donald Trump because he wanted to challenge you to do better. This is how Joe Biden performs under pressure. You crumble. You become unraveled. So imagine the way that he'd fare during a debate with Donald Trump. Donald Trump can say something that triggers him, and then all of a sudden, he'd just melt down. He'd walk off the stage, possibly. I mean, you have to be an adult. You're running to be the president. You have to demonstrate to us that you have the temperament to be commander-in-chief. But you just told someone to vote for Donald Trump. That's embarrassing. That is fucking embarrassing. I don't even, like, <laughs> there are no words to describe this. You just told someone who's an immigrant activist to vote for Donald Trump. How childish and petulant of you, Joe Biden. Shame on you. He then challenged the protester to say, well, you know, if somebody was murdered, should they not be deported? And he tried to really get him to answer that question as if the protester who was challenging him needed to answer because he's running for president. No, you're running for president. The protester is not running for president. You're running for president. You are the one who needs to come up with policy prescriptions for the problems that are impacting people, that are breaking apart families right now. And you were terrible. You and Obama had a horrible record of deportations. Not as bad as Trump, of course. But nonetheless, you still escalated after George W. Bush. Obama had the Alien Transfer Exit Program, which basically took immigrants and not just, like, deported them, but dropped them off somewhere randomly in Mexico, for example, where they were unfamiliar with, and this put them in danger. 
right? Because if you're unfamiliar with a particular area, you could be dropped off in a bad part of town where there is a lot of control from the cartel or gang violence, and you're literally endangering lives, but you're being cruel and doing that so that way you can deter others from coming to the country. That's what you and Obama did. So, I mean, that's why you're being challenged. But nobody can question Obama's legacy or his legacy. And when you do, that's what happens. Now, Bernie Sanders, I believe, has agreed to stop all deportations on day one because he acknowledges that you can use your executive action to make a difference. And we have to stop all deportations because our immigration system is broken. We're breaking apart families. We're locking children in cages. So we're overwhelmed and the system currently is not able to discriminate appropriately and determine who's a criminal and who's not. We're sending home people and breaking apart families and ruining lives. Dreamers are getting deported. People are getting deported to Afghanistan who have been in this country their whole life and they're dying. So for you to react that way and unravel Joe Biden shows that you shouldn't just lose. You've got to drop out. That's just embarrassing. Now, Bernie Sanders obviously capitalized on this, and he tweeted about this, saying, Joe Biden may not want the votes of those concerned about immigrant rights, but I do. Join our movement for justice. And that's exactly it. Joe Biden's loss is Bernie Sanders' gain, because that was an absolutely embarrassing display. And any other 2020 Democrat who's not capitalizing on this, I mean, what a missed opportunity. You have one of your rivals melting down at a minimal amount of scrutiny over a policy. And he tells him to vote for Donald Trump. Unbelievable. Unreal. Joe Biden is... He's not made for this. This is why he lost before when he ran for president. And this is why he's probably going to lose again. He's not meant for this. He doesn't speak to voters. I mean, what a way to communicate to people that you are fighting for them. And uh, you want their votes. Tell them to basically fuck off and vote for Donald Trump. Unreal. Beta male, not a beta male.